Hi guys, I am going to show you how to take any video on your phone and turn it into an Apple style live wallpaper where when you let go, you'll see the video rewinds back to the beginning frame. Now, what's the difference between an Apple live wallpaper and a regular live wallpaper? Well, with like a live photo, when you set that as a wallpaper, all it does is it blurs the key photo with the beginning frame of the video. And I don't like that very much. Whereas this, hold it, let go, it rewinds back to the very first frame. So first of all, you do need to be jailbroken and you can follow along. I'm gonna take this video of my friend Leah and set this as my live wallpaper. So I'm gonna use an app from the App Store called Into Live. I select the video and import it. I then click the key photo section and I need to make the key photo the very first frame of this video. I then click make, no repeat, and then save live photo. Now, most tutorials on YouTube will tell you that this is how you can make any video into a live photo and then set this as your wallpaper. But the problem that we're gonna have is that it's going to just blend the two frames together and I don't like it. So I'm gonna go into files there and I'm gonna keep going all the way back until I can't go back anymore. I am then gonna click on user, media, and DCIM. Click the very top one and these are my most recent files. So here's the live photo and here is the video that I'm going to be turning into the live photo. So I'm going to copy both of these files and I'm going to put them into the live wallpapers file. Uh, I don't know what to call it. So I'm going to go all the way back again, click on library, click on um, wallpaper, motion, and then iPhone. So I'm going to paste the two files in this folder here. Like I said, this is where all my live wallpapers are. Here is an example. And I paste my two videos. Now I need to rename them so that Apple recognizes them as live wallpapers. So I'm just going to take the name of one that already exists. So click rename, copy the name. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't know how the formatting works. So I'm just going to paste the formatting. All I'm going to do really is just change the beginning part. So 1040 ink, I'm going to call it 1240 ink instead. And that way we have a completely different video. Now I need to do the same thing with the photo. So I'm going to take the 1040 ink thumbnail, copy or rename it and then copy the name. And then I'm going to paste this name on the live photo of Leah but I'm also gonna need to change the file name a little bit as well. So uh, enter .jpg because it didn't copy that across. So I'm now gonna change this from 1040 ink to 1240 ink so that it recognizes that this is the thumbnail for that video. Great, save, and now I need another copy. So I'm gonna copy this thumbnail, paste the thumbnail, um, but now we have two duplicate files, so I'm going to rename this second thumbnail. Um, I'm going to get rid of, because it's going to have, here we go, yeah, one in brackets. So get rid of that there, and then I'm going to go and remove the word thumbnail. And so once I've done that, I have my video, I have my thumbnail, and I have the icon for the live wallpaper. So now if I go to my wallpaper, live wallpapers, you will see that it is now officially an Apple live wallpaper. And when I let go, it bounces back to the beginning. It doesn't do that horrible blend frame thing. Um, so let me lock my screen and here we go. I love it. Leah's gonna love it. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love it. Um, now the cool thing is even when the phone is in an unjailbroken state, you can still access the live wallpapers and you can still set them as live wallpapers because it's in the actual uh, Apple um, index. So here we go. Set both, unjailbroken, and it still works. Um, anyway, this video is mostly for me in case I forget how to do it, but I hope you guys enjoyed.